Sri Brahmi script character Sri Sri and Devanagari script used for Sanskrit Sri. Also transliterated as Sri, Sri, or Sri, is a Sanskrit term denoting resplendence, wealth and prosperity, primarily used as an honorific. The word is widely used in South and Southeast Asian languages such as Indonesian, Javanese, Balinese, Sinhala, Thai, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Nepali, Malayalam, Kannada, Sanskrit, Pali, Khmer, Malay, and among Philippine languages. It is usually transliterated as Sri, 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 Si, or Seri based on the local convention for transliteration. The term is used in Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia as a polite form of address equivalent to the English Mr. in written and spoken language, but also as a title of veneration for deities or as honorific title for local rulers. Sri is also another name for Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth, while a yantra or a mystical diagram popularly used to worship her is called Sri Yantra. Maharaja Shri to Great King, Lord Gupta in the Gupta script, on the Allahabad pillar inscription of Samudragupta. Monier Williams Dictionary gives the meaning of the root verb Sri as to cook, boil, to burn, diffuse light, but as a feminine abstract noun, it has received a general meaning of grace, splendor, beauty, wealth, affluence, prosperity. The word Sri may also be used as an adjective in Sanskrit, which is the origin of the modern use of Sri as a title. From the noun, is derived the Sanskrit adjective sramat, by adding the suffix indicating possession, literally radiance having. This is used in modern vernacular as form of address shrimati for married women, while sushri, can be used for women in general. In Devanagari script for Sanskrit, Hindi, Marathi and other languages, the word is combination of three sounds, and. There are two conventions in India to transliterate the syllable with the inherent vowel, plus to English. Some use the convention of sa for transcribing as in Sri Lanka and Srinagar, while others use the convention of sha for transcribing as in Shimla and Shimoga. Similarly, is also transliterated to English in two different ways as ri and ri, although the latter is non-standard in Hindi. Hence, in English, the spelling of this word varies from shri to shri through sri and sri. Whatever be the transliteration, the pronunciation is the same. Sanskrit is written in many Indian scripts as well, in which case there are corresponding letters which have the exact same values as the Devanagari, so the Sanskrit pronunciation remains the same regardless of script. Shri is also the avatar of Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of wealth, fortune, power, beauty and prosperity. Shri is a polite form of address equivalent to the English Mr. or Ms. Shri is also frequently used as an epithet of some mythological Hindu gods, in which case it is often translated into English as holy. Also, in language and general usage Shri, if used by itself and not followed by any name, refers to the Supreme Consciousness, I. E. God. Shri Devi is the Devi of wealth according to Hindu beliefs. Among today's Orthodox Vaishnavas, the English word Shri is a revered syllable and is used to refer to Lakshmi, while Sri or Shri is used to address humans. Shri is one of the names of Ganesha, the Hindu god of prosperity. Shri is also used as a title of the Hindu deities Rama, Krishna, Saraswati and sometimes Durga. Shri may be repeated depending on the status of the person. There is a common practice of writing Shri as the first word centralized in line at the beginning of a document. During the Vidyarambam ceremony, the mantra Om Hari Shri Ganapati Nama is written in sand or in a tray of rice grains by a child, under the supervision of a guru or priest. Another usage is as an emphatic compound in princely styles, notably in Darbar Shri. Desai Shri, and Takur Shri or Shri Shri Ananda Murti, the founder of the social and spiritual movement Ananda Marga. The honorific can also be applied to objects and concepts that are widely respected, such as the Sikh religious text, the Sri Guru Granth Sahib. Similarly, when the Ramlila tradition of reenacting the Ramayana is referred to as an institution, the term Sri Ramlila is frequently used. The use of the term is common in the names of ragas, either as a prefix or postfix. Some examples are Sri, Bhagyashri, Dhanashri, Deshri, Subhashri, Itishri, Jaitshri, and Sri Ranjani. The honorific is incorporated into many place names. A partial list follows. Thanks for watching.